Hey, 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 it's Leona. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Are you all right? How's it going? Today, we're going to be painting a beautiful, magical forest. And it's, um, it's like an imaginative painting, this one. I'm not looking at anything for reference. It's just like something out of the imagination to have fun with. So I hope you really enjoy it. How are you? How's it going? Welcome to all the replay viewers. It's lovely to have you here. I've got a really lovely bunch of uh, replay viewers, which is really nice. So welcome to all of you. How you doing? Uh, Alan's here. Hey, Alan. How are you? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, you know the drill. You know how it rolls. Basically, for the first few minutes, I just say hi. Welcome anyone that's coming in the room. Say hello, hello. Uh, and then for the main majority part of usually about an hour and a half sometimes two hours I go to this camera angle where I'll be painting and this is um, pretty much I think it's over halfway done this one over halfway or maybe just halfway let's say just halfway but as you can see it's a magical forest it's gonna be autumn so you're gonna see like some yellow and orange leaves falling from the trees they're gonna all kind of come down here there's gonna be some grass coming along on each of these lovely woodland floor sections there might even be some flowers like I might even get some flowers in there let's see what happens it's an imaginative thing so I'm just gonna kind of see what happens see what rolls we're gonna have some fun I'm going to have some relaxing time. So I don't know about you. I need to relax. We've had a busy week so far. <laughs> hello, hello. How you doing? I hope you're loving the colours in the background. Something different. I think I went a little... This is me going subtle. This is subtle. So can you see here, this bit here, and this bit here is kind of just relaxed. It's almost a bit like a lift going up with the colours. So it's super, super chill. I don't know if you think it's chill. Do you think it's chill? But to me, this is like completely relaxing in lovely, beautiful colour. On the background here, I've got the Vlamink that I did the other week. You can see that in the videos if you go to Artist Resource, um, youtube.com forward slash artist resource forward slash videos. You'll see the replay of that one there. And this is the one that I finished last week. I'm so happy with it. I actually did one more thing after the stream Leona Fab as always buddy thank you Alan it's so lovely to have you here uh, yeah I did one more thing so if I unpin this you can have a little look if I don't know if you notice from if you watch the last week's one I actually just made the uh, houses a little bit more pink but I'm really pleased with this. Like, I think I might frame it. I'm so happy with it. Pooja, hi, darling. Nice green top on you, Leona. Thank you. I thought I'd go for the green vibes today. Uh, there will be lots of orange as well and lots of red because we're doing this kind of autumnal, another autumnal painting. Like, this is the third one in a row. Let me go and put this back up here. Um, third one in a row. Uh, and I'm just very excited because like, I don't know about you, but you know, there's not really that much we can do right now in the situation of the state of the world, uh, apart from go for beautiful walks in the countryside. And this time of year, is this your favorite time of the year or is this your favorite time of the year? This is my favorite time of the year. Let me know what your favorite time of the year is. Autumn just always brings so much joy to me I love it so much I grow vegetables and I always grow pumpkins and I love seeing the pumpkins coming out I love the weather getting a little bit cooler after it's been so hot I just love it I just love all the cinnamon spices and all that kind of stuff I love putting on the little fairy lights I just bought myself a load of candles I mean I'm just into it so let me know if you're into autumn <laughs> Uh, welcome to everyone just joining. Hi, if you don't come in the comments, how you doing? Happy Wednesday to you. Um, yes, it's your favourite too. Yay! All of it's just so great. It's just got all the benefits of it being cold. And we just won't even talk about winter. Let's just not even go there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I have also got this before I start getting painting. 
I have also got this book, which I mentioned on the live streams a while ago because Zach bought Zach, my lovely boyfriend, who is also the uh, musician of this lovely music you can hear in the background. Uh, he bought me this for my birthday, The Secret Lies of Colour, by, I think he said Kasia St. Clair. Uh, it's a really awesome book, and if you can see on the spine, it's divided into colours. So what I thought what I could do at the end of the stream, if you're still here and you want it, let me know in the comments when we get near the end. I can pick out like the colour of the week. So obviously today is green. <laughs> and there's like some stories. So if you look here, you can see there's like some different like historical things about different coloured greens. So I could pick out a green and read it to you. It's like really short. It's only like a pal. I'll show you how like how long they are. They're only about like that long. Uh, so I could read you a little bit of history about Secret Lies of Colour from this beautiful, amazing book. If you're interested as well, as a little extra thing. Uh, Alan, you know my answer to that one. Love autumn and winter. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Hey, we share that in common. Definitely. Let's get these autumn vibes happening. So let me know how you are. Let me know if you had a nice week so far. Let me know if you're looking forward to the weekend. Let me know what you're drinking right now. I've got a cup of tea. I actually got water and a tea. I've got rhubosh with no milk in it. And this is uh, Earl Grey rhubosh so lovely so lovely so lovely so let's get started welcome welcome come in the room come chat with me and let's do this let's do this so <laughs> oh look at those lovely emojis i love those ones sometimes the emojis don't come through and i don't get to see them but i like those ones i like a bit of artist emoji oh also let me know um you know that you can hear me all right you can hear the music all right oh yeah and don't forget to follow me facebook instagram twitter at artist resource if you want the direct links to the stream and also sign up to the newsletter artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter i'm about to announce something super exciting and you will get an advantage to that super exciting thing if you sign up to the newsletter Obviously, I'm not sharing your emails with anybody else. Um, and obviously, I don't send newsletters that often, so it won't be like buggy or spammy. It's just to tell you fantastic things you might be interested in. Um, water. Till my mum brings me a few <laughs> energy drinks. <gasps> you can't have an energy drink now, though. It's 7 o'clock. You'll be up all night. You'll be like, woo. Or can you? Or do you just love them? It's a weird thing, isn't it? Some people actually love them so much. I sort of stay away from them i only drink coffee if it's before 5 p.m i know that sounds really like mad but uh i think it must be something to do with becoming 40 or something <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like when you're younger you're just like yeah i can drink i can drink coffee and be fine and go to sleep and now i'm just like no <laughs> Uh, right, let's get into it. Let's get into all of the things so we have something to watch. All right. So, uh, as you can see, I've done three layers. I am doing this kind of imaginary landscapes. This is really sort of just out of the imagination. Um, and I'm going to do like autumnal colours kind of coming down. But as you can see, it's got like it's like lots of kind of darks around the edges and then it's getting lighter so it's kind of drawing you in and then i don't know if you remember oh hi alex hi how you doing happy wednesday how's it going uh i don't do anything anyways so they've been part of my life anyway even when i done when I, even when i just drink none caffeine drinks i can stay awake yeah, well, I mean, that's what they're designed to do, right? So, hooray. Uh, how are you, Alex? How's life? You having a good week so far? I hope you are. Um, I was just saying, uh, I don't know if you remember, actually, I think, Alex, you were definitely there. Alan, you might have been there. Pooja, I don't think you were there. But about, oh, I wonder what live stream it was. It was an early one, maybe number eight or nine or ten. Um, this is number 26. It's either 8 or 9 or 10. I did like a magical cave. 
painting with like lots of water droplets coming down so this is kind of in that vein it's in the imaginary sort of landscape vein so I haven't looked at any specific images of trees for this or anything like that it's just very imaginative it's supposed to be very easy you know very beginners this will be available as a class really soon so if you're interested in that again do sign up to the newsletter artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter Woo. Uh, but yeah let's get on should we get on should we get on let's get on let's get on so um let's get started so we're gonna do some darks first of all the great thing about acrylics uh, Katie how do I talk to you <laughs> I'm here how you doing Katie welcome I love the way you spell your name that's so sweet if you are who I think you are how you doing sweet pea welcome to the G, welcome, welcome. That's what you do, you just type the things in, you say, how's it going? What have you been up to today, etc, etc. We've got Celeste, who is Alex. So welcome to you. We've got Alan, and we've got Pooja here as well. So say hello, welcome, welcome. We're talking about autumn, we're talking about going for beautiful woodland walks. We're talking about all the beautiful colours of autumn. We're talking about getting outside to cheer us up. We're talking about doing painting to make us feel good. We're talking about being immersed in colour, which is why I've got super loads of colour projected behind me. And I'm just doing my best to like help you relax and feel inspired. That's all this is about, so I hope you enjoy. You can talk to me all the way through. I've got my camera in the bottom corner. Uh, and I'm gonna be just letting you know what I'm up to throughout so it's like happy days you know what I mean oh let's get this a bit there we go get it a bit straight let's get it a bit straight so I'm gonna start off by doing some more of this because so this painting is very symmetrical well very symmetrical quite symmetrical uh, but it does definitely kind of have that feeling where it's kind of sort of enclosing in and then it's inviting you to kind of be led down the path do you know what I mean so it's kind of spent most of, supposed to feel like nice and cozy and like just relaxed and just lovely. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. That's what it's supposed to be doing. So hopefully it's doing it. I was sunbathing by the sea today with my coat on, obviously. Really calm waves. Oh my God, that sounds blissful. The joys of living by the sea, hey? Oh. I bet that was lovely we did have in London we had some Sun today at the beginning of the day and then it kind of just rained it's been a bit of a sad day in London today but I'm glad you've been having a nice time and I'm glad, I'm glad you could have a bit a bit of sunbathing you're feeling better anyway Pooja because you weren't well for a bit there you're feeling better now um, I should have a size one brush yeah I do so um yeah these live streams are really for inspiration and to show you what projects i've got coming up um to just help relax and inspire you really that is the purpose um if you want to learn how to do these paintings that i'm doing they're going to be available as classes so uh you could do them but these aren't these live streams aren't particularly tutorials they're just there to make you feel good you know which we all need right we all need so i'm doing these kind of like curly patterns here i'm just using a quite a small brush and just like kind of going backwards and forwards it's quite interesting when you go for walks in the woods and you look up at the trees and like it's kind of just it's very speckly you know you can see it's very dappled the light comes in very dappled um, you can see the outline of leaves and obviously as they get further away it gets less um, uh, what's the word less clear <laughs> ironically 
clear was the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, this is gonna be like super gorgeous. So please do share this stream with anyone you think might like it. The good thing about this painting is it's really intuitive. You kind of got to just go for it and not really hold back. So I'm trying to create this kind of like, like I said, this sort of archway kind of cozying and leading you in. And you can't sort of really go wrong with this because you can't, you know, you just, you can't really put too much on. And if you do put too much on, you can just go over the top with another colour when it's dry. So for example, if you're doing this in gouache paints, it'd be really difficult because you can't really layer up with gouache paints. But with acrylic paints, it's like happy days. You get like left off the hook with, um, with acrylic paints for sure. But yeah, we got all the green vibes happening. Oh, you still got the lurgy. Five weeks. <gasps> I just got grief. Oh, my love. I had a good cry yesterday and feeling a bit healthier and happier today. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, it seems to have been a weird couple of days. Most people are kind of really going through it at the moment. Um, which is, again, the reason why I'm doing these live streams is because I want it to to create this lovely space you can come to and just chill because I don't know about you but a lot of the things like they're available sort of on those big hosting platforms like you know Netflix and all those kind of things they're just so intense a lot of the stuff is so intense and um, most people actually come to YouTube there's a statistic most people come to YouTube for relaxing and inspiring content. So when I was like, oh, where should I start doing my live stream? Should I do them here or should I do them on Twitch? I don't know, should I do them on Facebook? Um, that was the main reason I decided to come on YouTube because I was like, well, if people were looking for that, then I'm gonna be here and, you know, just gotta work my way to getting people to come and view, so. But yeah, it's uh, funny old times, eh? Funny old times. So I'm going to I'm going to keep kind of doing these darker patches because obviously like when you look up when you go for a walk and I went on this lovely woodland walk the other day um if you look up in the trees you'll notice that it's like super dense but you see kind of like little sections of light coming through and you'll see like the different greens coming through so kind of like the trick is with this is just to sort of build it up and like I said because it's acrylic you can start with the darks and then sort of build your way out so right now oh actually maybe I should turn this light down a little bit how's that that might be a bit better uh, yes your lovely happy and relaxing vibes are what we all need Pooja, how's your painting going? Are you managing to do any while you're feeling ill? Um, so yeah, this bit is quite dense, but I don't want to like overdo it because that's the thing. Even though you can kind of rectify it, I don't want to overdo it. I want there to be space. Like, see, for example, here, if I go too much, I'm going to lose all this detail. I actually quite like the way I've done this tree. And I like these ones. I'm not massively keen on this, to be honest. Uh, but I really like these ones here. And I really like these ones. It's the, ironically, it's the front two that I'm not keen on. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because that isn't the focus of the painting. Um, and anyway, you just got to keep on going. Got to keep on trucking through. So you got to kind of get this sort of base layer down. I'm just going to create some bits of density around here and it's really helped as well when you look at um, famous paintings as we, as we have been for the last few weeks you realise actually how simple 
it is and how you don't have to overcomplicate things like you know it's all about seeing and interpreting what you see so just don't overcomplicate it don't make it hard for yourself you know I might just bring this bit out maybe a tiny bit so there's like a nice little overhang there so yeah I'm happy with that now here this definitely shouldn't be completely nothing there so let's do some little small ones like they're in the background maybe we'll do some little small ones here how's that looking yeah that looks nice so maybe we'll go um, and do another hue of green so let's just get this the really nice thing as well about this painting is that there's two different types of green so if you see that kind of middle section there is one type of green and then this section here is another type of green so you're getting all that and in fact it's just two different types of yellows and the same blue so you get like a really nice kind of just a really nice follow through. Oh, I don't know how to best explain it. It's like a, a story of greens. That's it, like a story of greens. I've uh, done a few paintings on my weekly intuitive art zoom. Oh, I'm so glad. That sounds lovely. Hi, Sunday Sketches. How you doing? Alicia, is it? Alicia, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. Looks really good. How are you, sweet pea? You all right? How's it going? Uh, we're doing an intuitive sort of imaginative magical painting today it is um, yeah out of my brain pretty much uh, so it's a completely different style to before Ooh. so we're gonna start lightening this up and I'm gonna kind of sort of start thinking about little sections so obviously where there's the light here, we're gonna create some like nice little, well actually we're gonna to have to get lighter than that. Can you see? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm really in need of this relaxing time. So, you know, it does me good. Painting has always been something that I have like looked forward to and it hasn't been my primary thing for a long time because mosaics was my primary thing for a long time but recently I've just felt the need to like come to painting and I'm always feeling the need to inspire people to do art so that's how we got here right let's have a look and see if this kind of comes up so where was I gonna go around here how's that coming up can we see can we see how is that showing up so if this is not showing up that well what I'll do is oh actually no that's good that's good that is good enough actually that's good enough what I'll do is a few patches of that and then I'll tint it and we'll get some oh yeah so this layer is going to be a little bit subtle, so you might not be able to see this layer too clearly, but the next one is going to be where it's at. Hopefully you can just see it slightly brightening up. Now, as it's hanging over and you've got this light, so even though something's coming out of your imagination, you've got to kind of follow the rules to some level so you've got to know about the lights and the darks and make sure that it does make some sense in reality it doesn't have to look completely real but it's got to have some sense right so the lights have got to be near the lights and the darks have got to be near the darks and all that stuff otherwise you're gonna lose something in the process like see there could be a little bit of light over here Actually, for this, what would be really nice is to thicken up the acrylic and get this super thick. That would like be really yummy. Like I'm actually kind of piling it on. But if I used a really, really amazing quality acrylic and did it really thick, this would be 
really nice, so I recommend that for this for sure. Um, shall I do any in there or shall I leave it dark? I don't know. Let's come over here. I wrote myself a little note, as you can see, front two trees only. <laughs> I was like, you know, don't get your greens mixed up. <laughs> You gotta write yourself a little note, you know, just to remind yourself of stuff. I really like the composition, so cozy and the green is lovely. Thank you so much, Pooja. Cynthia, happy Wednesday, Cynthia. How you doing, gorgeous? This is so awesome. You're awesome. That's what's happening. How are you, sweetie? How's it going? How's your week been? yeah i'm doing a bit of an imaginative painting today magical forest it's called and it's going to be autumnal so there's going to be lots of well not lots of but there's going to be trickling of orange and red leaves falling down so hang on for that you know don't go anywhere if you're free don't go anywhere now you're here <laughs> <laughs> the trees look amazing thank you as i said this will be available as a class online if you would like to learn how i've done all this up to this point um so do subscribe to the newsletter where i will notify you when that is available and uh yeah artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter boop, boop, ba -doop, boop, ba -doop, boop, boop 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 uh i think most of you subscribed anyway here already but for the replay viewers okay uh hanging in here trying to stay positive all the love to you sweetheart and your husband um all the love uh the trees look amazing oh you're so sweet i can't i can't remember if i already said that out loud or not but thank you alicia that's lovely of you need to go leona i should see you in 25 minutes all right alex enjoy your art and see you soon sorry i haven't chatted in a while i love the green and yellow on your painting Oh, Alex, you're so sweet. Yeah, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, I'll be here. Uh, sounds amazing. Yeah, it's all happening. It's all happening. We're building it up. We're building it up as we go along. Have you managed to do any art, Cynthia? I mean, I'm sure you haven't in everything. Um, some weeks you just don't get to do anything, do you? It's just like some weeks all the things happen it's light now I've got to be careful not to go over that branch there um, the trick is with this is you've got to leave the two trees in the foreground don't go over them with the leaves because then it looks really messy you've got to just sort of go around them a bit and I'm gonna put some up here getting a bit smaller but yeah this this sort of layer is is a little bit subtle but you need it all you need it all for the depth right oh get too much on the brush there let's get some here so yeah let me know if you want me to read you a little something about the color green from this book at the end I did say it in a few live streams ago and no one said anything so I was like okay maybe no one wants it but I'm just saying it again just in case just in case you're like actually I want to hear a little bit of history about the colour green <laughs> uh, yes I've been trying to keep myself busy with, it, busy with it I just posted a pic of my giraffe work in progress over on my Facebook page, OMG, I can't wait to see. Giraffes are so fun, aren't they? They're just so funny. Um, uh, right, where am I? Should I, should, I, should I put a bit in here? Maybe just a tiny bit, but not much. Should I, should I, should I, should I? And maybe a little bit up here. I can always come back and add some more. I'm gonna just add a few little dots here and there just for some kind of like happening in the sort of background, maybe a little bit here, maybe a little bit up here. 
Is it overhanging enough? I think it is. Maybe it needs some more up here, actually. How's that looking? Yeah. Yes, please read from the book. Oh my God. Thank you, Pooja. All right, well, let's see at the end. So we've got an hour. Um, let's see how we go. And if you're up for it at the end. It's a really great book. It's got all these little stories about different hues of green, different hues of pink, all the colours. It's so fab. All right. Um, let's have a little tea. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I think Let's have a look at the yellow and how that comes out and then let's see if I'm going to add a little bit of white or not to the proceedings or if we should just go because how different does the yellow look? It doesn't look that much different to this but let's get a few of these in. Oh the texture. Oh the texture. Let's get some white happening. Let's tint it up. Let's tint it up. And we'll get this bit more popping. Let's get this layer popping, people. Let's get it popping. Okay. So, same again. Now, this is really going to brighten it up here. So I'm doing these little patches, the ones that I've been working on. I'm just going back to these little patches here and there and just adding it, so just layering it up really. And if you can see, I'm kind of doing these little curvy movements with the brush, just almost like little commas. Um, find that the easiest you could just do like a little dash uh, similar to you know that Fovis painting that we did a couple of weeks ago that one up there literally just like square brush strokes but for this one I kind of wanted it just a little bit curvy like I like it curvy and I don't want to use a straight flat brush for them for this one what I'll do is after this layer, I will start adding some orange and start letting those, watching those leaves coming down. Oh my, I'm excited about it already. I'm excited. I'm trying to stay relaxed. But you can be calm and excited at the same time. You can just be blissfully calm. When did you start doing this painting? I actually only started it yesterday, Cynthia. I started it yesterday um, and I put all the baseline down and worked it all out. It took a little while because it kind of came from my brain. So I was working out how I was going to do it. Um, yeah. It shall be available as a class really soon. But yeah, it's all about building it up. And it's all about, as you guys know, it's all about just having the confidence just to like, just go for it. You know, just have a few little rules in place and then, you know, kind of go for it. I'm wondering if there should be any yellow bits down here. I don't know if there should kind of just doesn't feel right but here I want there to be like because what I'm going to do is have this orange coming down so obviously it's going to be coming down from these patches so maybe I just need a couple here just to be able to add the orange in do I need another see now I think I might need just one more colour in the background just one more 
Shall I have one more before the orange? Let's do it, let's do that. So I'm gonna switch around because I'm using different greens. Um, so same blue, but I'm using different yellows. So this one, I am going to uh, love it. I just love the serenity of the woods and the trees. I grew up in the Pinelands in New Jersey. Did you, Cynthia? These are the kind of things that I love to hear. It's true, right? I mean, just before you came in, I was saying about how going for walks in the woods is just it's just blissful it's always been blissful but something about now and these times it just feels even more blissful i think it's just the appreciation levels have gone up you know everything's sort of happening um you know what i mean people are going through things it's all happening it's all happening so the woodlands are kind of making it all kind of chill so, uh, what was I going to do? I was just going to do like a slightly lighter, oh I love this green. <gasps> so this is the green that I use for loads of this. Um, I'm just going to add some white and just do like, just a few little, not much. I don't know why I've put this much paint on actually, because I don't even want this much. But I want to just add a few little bits more in here. Shall I have it going over, coming down, I don't know. Just, I wanted just the, the odd few bits in here. Way too much paint for what I wanted it for. Just for some depth, just little highlights. Maybe this should just be like the little ones coming down. that look oh yeah 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 <laughs> the woods are alive in so many ways isn't that the truth isn't that the truth all right you might think Leona why did you just do that small little thing but I was just like it needed to be done all right let's lighten this up one more time because I feel like we need just the little bit of lightness and then gonna go and do uh, we have to do all the other things before um, we do the orange we gotta do all the grass I'm gonna put all grass going on you're gonna love it guys you're gonna love it so hang on in there I'm gonna show you um, doing some lovely little bits of grass so I'm just gonna put a few of these happening just to brighten these up not too much don't want to overcrowd it it's already getting quite overcrowded not too much a little bit over there draw your eye around that bit of the painting a little bit around there a little bit around here uh, i don't know whether i should put some there i'll do a little few dots as well get the because everything's not the same size right you can have things going off in the background actually there should really be some dots around here i'm happy with that that is looking nice all right let us do the grass now for the grass you gotta work this way because i'm gonna be doing all these little lines and you want to work back if you start at the front you're gonna not get that nice overlapping thing so let me bring this one back because this is for all the background and let's carry on with the greens for a little while longer and then we'll get to the fabulous popping of the orange um, what are you drinking what are you got you what are you drinking tonight What are you eating? Is it lunchtime? Where you are? Have you had your dinner yet? Let me know. All right, so this one's the lemon. 
So we've got it. Got out. Great. Look how much I got out there. <laughs> Getting a little bit carried away there, Leona. A little bit carried away. So we need to mix up. Now we're going to go from light. Actually, we can use this because we're going to go from light and then we're going to come darker. Uh, how many layers am I going to do? So I was thinking of doing a layer here. Bom, 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 bom. Maybe another layer there, another layer there. So let's start off with this. I think I'm going to still use the one. I don't think I need to go any smaller than that. Should we just see how it goes? Let's see how it goes. Let's have a change of music for the grass. Uh, Cynthia, green tea and leftover sausage, spinach and mushroom thin crust pizza. I mean, I could totally do the pizza right now. I'm feeling a bit hungry. Green tea and green tea. You know what green tea is really good with? Chocolate. <laughs> have you ever had green tea and chocolate? I think they go really well together. I think I could just go a tiny bit smaller on the brush here. But I'm not gonna. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> right, don't do too much of the really pale one there. <gasps> look at that. Guys, I told you, you're in for a treat today. You are in for a treat. Mike's calling me right back. Oh, of course, my love. All right. Um let's do some more with this one I think like around here I want to do some big ones as well I don't know if you can see but I did a little pencil mark in here before so I was going to do some sort of big strands so we'll just shove that in and see how it goes ok so you can't quite see that but that's alright There should be some bigger things here. Remember, this is imaginative, so it's not kind of like trying to be like super realistic, although it is staying in line with like lights and shadows. Obviously, like the central part here is like lighter. Do you know what I mean? We're trying to keep some. Oh my god, it looks so good. It's amazing, the grass looks so good. Thank you, Alicia. I know, right? Isn't it funny how you can just start putting one thing in? And also, the reason is, is because of the different stroke. So as you can see, I'm kind of going like that. Whereas for the leaves, I went in these little commas. So kind of C shape and then a backward C. So a C and then a backward C. Whereas now I'm going like this. So... Paintings always look nice when you can see a couple of different types of brush strokes. Um, it's just variety, right? So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe a little bit more. How's that looking? I think it's looking super cute. Could do maybe with another green coming in there now. Now that it's getting sort of closer, we 
could still keep it with the white inside so it's got a bit of a tin happening. the actual colour of that strip there so that's why that's looking right and then it could have a slightly darker one on it as well so let's do one darker let's grab a bit of yellow in there then I've got to decide shall I put some flowers in it what do you think because we could have some flowers happening like up here or something. I haven't really thought about the flowers as much as I've thought about the leaves. So now I'm trying to keep like the darks to the like left and the right just to parallel with the fact that darkness is here so I'm trying to keep that same sort of thing with this it's like we'll just put the darks on the left and the right and that will kind of you know match up keep it harmonious I'm going to add a few little darker ones over there for some cuteness and then see I could put some kind of like flower happening on that and I possibly could put one there but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sorry, I gotta go, be back in 20 minutes. That's all right, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Um, okay, should I put any dark ones in that one? No, I don't think so. All right, so now I'm gonna do them in the front here. Why did I do all of them? Look at all that yellow. <gasps> Thank God I need to make some orange because I can use that for that, right? So let's go to this one now gonna do this other and obviously we got them all mixed up which helps so I don't want to go too light though so I'm not gonna use any whites because this is like the foreground and it's well actually no I am gonna use some whites I think looks of amazing so far thank you Alicia I'll see you in a bit bye sweetheart um no actually I am gonna use some lights because no that does make sense that does make sense Shall I do them first though? I'm gonna do the darks first, I think. I'm gonna do the darks first. Let's see if we can pick up anything in here. The irony is I need a little bit more of this yellow. Light orbs and elementals may not be your thing. Oh, you were like, oh, should I add that? Oh my god. I'll tell you what. That would be really good. I really, really love that idea, Pooja. Um, but I tell you I'll do it on another one because I think for today, I think I've just got it like leaves, flowers. I'm just gonna keep it like that because that was in my vision. But that would be really lovely, wouldn't it? That'd be so nice. Uh, Cynthia, so Saturday I'm going to Arizona to be my brother until he has his cancer surgery i'm taking my water colors and we're going to try and have some special time cynthia you beautiful human you i'm sure that'll be a beautiful time together my love all right let us get does he like painting oh it's so nice all right, I'm going to get this happening. So I've kind of got the idea to do this big flower thing here, possibly. 
but yeah I did do a painting years ago Pooja that had like all these like kind of little spirits in it like it was kind of the same similar thing in a forest and these little kind of beings like hanging about <laughs> hanging about <laughs> um <laughs> hanging about uh what am I trying to say <laughs> sort of like peeking out of like the little kind of gaps in the trees and stuff um because i did do this whole series on these little beings and i made them in sculptures and i actually put them in trees in queen's wood um in highgate i put actually physically put them in the trees um and stuff like that so i was going through a big uh sort of time of doing those kind of things I don't know if that looks a little bit too. Don't know, see. God, that was ages ago now, though. That must have been. There was, I put it in Queenswood and actually in Alexandra Palace because there was an outdoor art exhibition and I made some of them and they looked like they were flying and I hung them in the trees. Um, and that was. What year was that? That was a, it feels like a million years ago. I mean, I think it must have been like 2004 or five, maybe. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it so much. I mean, I love sculpture. I've always loved sculpture so much. Um, and that's what I was doing then. It was really fun. I made them out of wire and then covered them in, was it paper mache or I did it with plaster? It's such a long time ago, I can't even remember. Um, Cynthia, he's never really done it. He's always wanted to do more art. So what a better time. I mean, right? It's totally true. When you're going through any kind of like transitionary time or healing time or recovery art is such a valuable tool um, whether or not you do it intuitively or you learn how the skill of drawing a painting um, I just think mainly what I feel is that it's about the color and that's what I really try and bring here in the live streams and with all my classes that I teach in person and online it's all it tends a lot to be about the color because that's the like beautiful uplifting part of it right it's when you get that <gasps> you know do you have pictures of it i do yeah i've got pictures of all my work that i've done, always done yeah i'll have to show you i have to do a little kind of this is what i was into in my 20s this is what i did in my 30s and all that kind of thing my 30s was all really mosaics and like in my 20s it was all kind of sculpture and painting and three more 3d stuff um yeah da, da, da. thank you for asking about it all right so let us um let us do oh no i was gonna hold on i was gonna carry on with the darks let's put a layer of this kind of like i'm gonna do a layer of Um, a layer of this grass now this can be a little bit bigger because it's in the foreground so we can afford to have it a bit bigger now that I've got this one brush I can kind of go for it might even do some a bit taller feels like it needs a little cute little patch there and just a few little strands here not too much because we've got to remember we're gonna have all these leaves the orange leaves falling over the top so I don't want to go like crazy I want to like like I said then you can kind of sort of let go a bit 
but then you want to after you've gone a little bit crazy then you've got to chill and you've got to think hold on I can't do too much because I'm trying to get an effect here uh, I do sculpting but boy I haven't had my clay out in ages I would love to see it oh thank you Cynthia yeah right I mean sculpting is so much fun like I have done last year I made those little sculptures do you remember and I put them in the environments um, which was my thing for a long long time and still is I love making little models um, The thing is, I kind of love all of it, right? I mean, I studied, uh, I graduated in 2001 with a degree in applied arts, which basically meant a bit of everything. So you did like metal work, ceramics, you worked with plastics, metal. Metal was so fun actually, using all these massive machines to bend and join metal together. Um, so I've always like known a lot about different kinds of materials and I've always just enjoyed a bit of everything so like when I set up my business teaching it's very easy for me to like think up projects and design them using lots of different materials because that is just how my brain works I'm like what would like I've got a good problem solving brain for different kinds of materials so you could say what is the best thing for doing this with and I would be like this is the answer oh right water this is what this needs Nothing in nature is perfect. Well, I mean, it is all divinely beautiful, but you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, let's get some lights in, and then we can start using something that's not green. So it's not going to be too much. says and then does a massive brush stroke oh yeah Erin how you doing of course well welcome happy Wednesday how you doing welcome to the stream how are you how's it going uh, of course, I always look at every single comment and I will always say hello for sure. How are you doing? Um, so, I think it's about this time. It's about this time. I just need to get a little bit of this. have a sip of tea let's have a look where we got to so that is all looking nice I'm pleased it's all looking everything is where it should be we're ready for some other color 
we are ready for it. Oh yeah. All right, so. So, so, so. We've got this big chunk of yellow here. So, this is the one that's for all this section. So, we have to bear that in mind. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you invite someone and then there'll be some more? <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to get... Um, yeah. I'm going to get... What I'm going to do is... First of all, I'm going to put a little bit of orange in this section and have a few leaves coming down. And then I'm going to um, do swap the orange, do a darker orange and have it coming from here and also some of the plants in the front. I think that's going to be my plan. I think that is the plan. So let's do it. I'm going to mix this up. Get some really light orange here. I know I've got, I've pulled out far too much orange. Um, yellow. Let's have a nice and light. Let's just mix up a darker one while I've got this big brush. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Changing the colour. So, let's do some little patches in here. So we're going to start off subtle, and then we're going to get kind of stronger, right? So we have a little bit in here. And then we'll have... We can add some tiny little ones, like drop in. Oh my god, so cute. Let me just make it a little bit thicker so it's a bit more visual. Oh my god, it's so tiny. I don't know if you can even see it. But we'll work up, we'll work up. I'm gonna put a little bit little bit of something I need something else like behind mm. maybe we'll do a darker one and trying not to do is like overdo it too much from the start and just kind of you know so I'm being a bit quiet just when I just work out if that's right but that's looking good that is looking good I feel happy with that I could use this. Let me go back to my third brush. And I could use this one and do this little plant here, which I was going to kind of do like a little thing here. As I said, this is an imaginative painting. So it's just i don't have any like huge explanation for this it's just like a flower maybe like a red hot poker or something i'm gonna do it like 
Yeah, like that. Something like that. What do we think? What do we think? So right. What do we think? What do we think? I think that looks good. Um, if I get this stem and just make it—is this the right green? Yeah, it's the right green. Just make this in there. That's cute. There could be one here as well to make a three, like one, two, three. That could be good. Shall I just do it? Oh, don't mix the green in the room. Let's just do it. sort of odd shapes I like it because it's like not it's not standing out too much but it's there yeah it's looking good yes 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 all right, just make that step. Oh no, that's not the right green. That is not the right green. This is the right green. Happy days. Maybe. Maybe, baby. All right. All right, so it's time for more leaves. Let's have it. So we've got to do it with the other one. So actually, I'm going to get another piece of card. And the reason I'm using card is just because it's like, you know, just throw it in the recycling afterwards. Don't have to like clean a palette, you know, like make life easy and all that kind of stuff. So let us get, we need to use the, the yellow that is for the front trees so which is this one and same red all right so let's get this mixed up so i'm going to make again i'm going to make a few different oranges This is going to be like the moment of truth. <gasps> the moment of truth. This is going to be it. This is going to be the moment where it's going to like all pretty much come together. Might just get like a tiny bit yellower than that as well. to think about this before before I do it I'm gonna have to have a little breather I 
you could add more things to it you could like you could like add like little mushrooms or little more flowers you could add little insects i mean you could add like it's so whimsical and magical you could add so much to this but i'm just going to keep it really simple a few little flowers leaves mainly i don't want to overcomplicate it to me that's already enough flowers that's already enough of that so let's get these leaves falling all right so first of all what i'm going to do is just get some orange up in the tree so it kind of makes sense now obviously that is super close to the other colors so this is going to be quite subtle oh you can see it though oh 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 yeah with a lot of um yellow acrylic as well is that it's really transparent so often you can't quite see uh see it over things and you have to put white down first but it's, it's gonna all add to it with this like the transparency is all adding to it all right and let's take or should we drop a few let's drop a few with this Let's drop a few leaves. Shall we drop over any on that side? Maybe the other one or two. got to be careful not to do too many all right then let's get this one and put some in here so next color just slightly darker orange Should it go all the way? Do you know what I mean? Like, should it go in the middle? I'm not sure yet. So these are the questions you can kind of ask yourself when you're doing something. Um, when you're doing something imaginative, you want to just be thinking all the time like where is it going what is the spacing in between everything um and it's just something you kind of learn more and more as you go and well, there's got to be one over this tree for example so you can see like there there's a bunch happening there there's a few happening there so there has to be something up here or down there or around so maybe like one something like that and on this one as well I want there to be oh my god so cute I'm so happy all right let's get it even darker now even darker do 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 all right let's do so I'm kind of think there shouldn't be too many red because red is sort of like 
something. Maybe they wouldn't be turning that red so quick. So I'm going to use red a bit more sparingly, I think. so tricky to like know with this kind of thing if that is enough it's really helpful actually doing this on the live stream because it frames the whole painting so you can really kind of see it really clearly so sometimes when you've been working on something for a little while you can kind of keep feeling like really over absorbed in it and you have to step back but when you put it in a camera it's like oh look i could put one there like i could definitely have like one there you know it kind of sort of comes out a little bit more um the question is should i have a few more lighter ones in the middle that is the question that is the question and the answer is yes put a few up here and then over here yay how you doing craig happy wednesday how are you welcome welcome how's it going have you been uh, beautiful artwork thank you so much doing one out of the imagination today alan's back when was that what is happening hope all's well and everyone's in good health yes completely <laughs> i'm just like at that moment when you know when you're looking at it at the end and you're kind of feeling like is this what i wanted to do and is this enough like i'm feeling like is there enough leaves should there maybe be one more there but this is what i wanted to do this is what i wanted to achieve so i'm kind of feeling like it's looking like what i wanted which is great um how's all your work going i hope it's going well um and all that but yeah this is nice because it's nice doing like something that's out of your imagination rather than looking at something and it's really good to transfer the skills of looking at famous paintings and looking in real life and possibly doing studies in real life and then transferring that into something that's quite whimsical and imaginative it's just another style and i was in the mood to do something in a bit of a different kind of free form kind of way today so it's cute i'm still wondering whether there should be maybe a little red one like kind of in the middle here like a couple of tiny little ones but that's what it feels like right now right when you go out for a walk and the leaves are just starting to come off the trees now in the uk you've outdone yourself again thank you so much craig I mean, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it. Oh, and I finished 10 minutes early today. Um, 
Yes, everything's well here, thanks. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. So we got into the greens today. We've used two different types of green. We've used one type of blue, but two different types of yellow, which produces two different types of green. Um, which is kind of like creating this really sort of like warmer sort of foreground and cooler sort of background but it's still like inviting you and leading you in do you know what i mean you saw my ig story i'm letting one pass from my dark addictive things mentally go but i'm good my mind is always all over the place the mind always gets in the way which is another amazing thing about art right is it gets you out of your mind in a positive way uh it's a love there's no black or at least i can't I can't see any, you captured the feeling perfectly. Thank you. Yeah, there's no black. No black. You've got to be careful with black. I think like the art you do, black's perfect. Outlines, very high graphic stuff. Um, then black is like perfect. But when you're doing sort of things that you're maybe more realistic or you want to create a certain type of feeling, Black can be just too intense, kind of like red. So if you notice with this, red here is like super popping out. Um, and that's because red and green are complementary colours. So it really kind of gives you that stark contrast while kind of feeling a bit gentle with the other sort of, you know, colours of orange and that. And the depth keeps your eyes wandering, 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 wandering wandering around <laughs> not wondering wondering <laughs> uh or you will see it oh i've missed what you said there or you will see it um but yeah the mind always gets in the way don't you find like if you've got like you know if you're doing your own thing whether you're do actually whether you're doing your own thing or you're not doing your own thing the mind always gets in the way it's good for organisation and all that kind of stuff. But you want to get it out of the way sometimes and get lost in something and get absorbed. And art is perfect for that. Welcome back, Alex. Sorry you're late. Don't be sorry. It's fine. I'm actually done. I'm actually done a few minutes early today. I've finished. I've done what I was going to do. You, like I was saying, you could add more to this painting. It depends what kind of mood you're in. You could add little animals, you could add little mushrooms, you could add more flowers, you could add little beans, you could add loads of things to this. Uh, but I wanted to keep it very leafy and just a little couple of flowers. You think my message didn't send, I don't think. Oh, well, what did you say? Do you want to type it again? If you want to type it again, do it. If you don't, I completely understand. Uh, I love the picture of art. The art is beautiful. Thank you. It's nice with that light going on in the background, isn't it? Amen, Leona. Amen. Yeah, completely. So, uh, I think that's all for today. I think that's all. I could leave you with a little story about green, if you like. If you let me know in the comments if you want me to. There's this really great book called The Secret Lives of Colour by Kasia Sinclair, I think it's Kasia, um, that Zach bought me for my birthday in August. And you can see on the spine there, there's all the different colors and you can choose like a story based on the colors. And it gives you like a bit of a history about the particular color. So for green, what have we got to choose from? For green, there is just normal green which is quite a long one, so we won't go for that. There's verdigris, which is quite long, so maybe we won't go for that. There's absinthe, which maybe we won't do that. There's emerald, maybe we'll do emerald. There's Kelly green. Lovely, yes, the story about green poo just still here. Okay, I'm gonna do one. There's shields green, I think we're gonna do emerald. And there's Terra Verte, which is a long one. So I think we're gonna do, let me just have a little scan to make sure that it's appropriate. Uh, uh, all right, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Let me just make sure I've got all my paint out of the way. 
so we're down. Um, okay, so this is the book. And this is the thing about Emerald. I'm going to start from down here, actually. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to start from there and just read that. All right, so here we go. This is about Emerald, everybody. Get comfy. Here's a story time for you. Okay, so emeralds are a rare and fragile member of the beryl family, stained green with small deposits of the element chromium or vanadium. The best known sources are in Pakistan, India, Zambia and parts of South America. Ancient Egyptians mined the gemstones from 1500 BC, setting them in amulets and talismans and they have been coveted ever since. The Romans, believing green to be restful to the eyes because of its prominence in nature, pulverised emeralds to make expensive eye balms. The Emperor Nero was particularly enamoured with the gem. Not only did he have an extensive collection, he was also said to use a particularly large example as proto-sunglasses, watching gladiator fights through it so that he wouldn't be bothered by the glare of the sun. How amazing is that? Oh my god. Uh, when L. Frank Baum wrote The Wonderful Wizard of Oz in 1900, he used the precious stone both as the name and building material for the city. His heroine and her band of misfit friends are trying to reach the Emerald City, at least at the beginning of the book, which is a metaphor for the magical fulfillment of dreams. I mean, this is perfect. Have I not chosen the perfect colour of green for this little story time? Um, uh, it lures the characters in because they all want something from it. <gasps> How cool is that? Okay. The next little bit. The Bahia was, he was heaved from the beryllium rich east of northeastern Brazil by a prospector in 2001. Stones from this area are not generally worth much. They tend to be cloudy and sell for on average less than $10. This one, however, was a gargantuan. The whole lump weighed 840 pounds, roughly the same as a male polar bear, interesting comparison, and was thought to contain a kryptonite green gem of 180,000 carats. In the years since its discovery, the gemstone's vast size and value have done little to, to secure it a stable home. Housed in a warehouse in New Orleans in 2005, the Bahia, I hope I'm saying that correctly, it's B-A-H-I-A, -A, narrowly escaped the flooding caused by Hurricane Katrina. Uh, it has allegedly been used in a number of fraudulent business dealings a judge called one such scheme despicable and reprehensible. It was listed on eBay in 2007 for a starting price of 18.9 million and a buy it now price of 75 million. Have you got 75 million spare for uh, a funky uh, Bahia stone that is emerald green? Uh, gullible potential buyers. <laughs> gullible potential buyers. It's a little bit of judgment there from Cassia uh, or Kasha. I'm not sure how you say her name. Um, gullible potential buyers were regaled with a backstory that involved a journey through the jungle on a stretcher woven from vines and panther mauling. Okay, I don't know whether like that's a good, good thing to be reeled in by. At the time of writing, the Bahia Emerald is valued at 400 million and is at the centre of a Californian lawsuit. Around a dozen people claim to have bought the stone fair and square in the sorry, they bought the stone fair and square in the 15 years since it was discovered, including a dapper Mormon businessman, a man who said he purchased its stick for sixty thousand dollars, only to be tricked into believing it was stolen, and several of the people who bought it over to California in the first place. Uh, that's it. That was the story about Emerald. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that took an interesting turn, didn't it? So that was from that book. If you want me to do that again in another stream, read you a little bit about a colour that we're um, exploring, let me know. Halo, mate! <laughs> you missed the story time, babe. 
I just gave a story time. We had a story. <laughs> I'm introducing a story to the stream. <laughs> Phone into Kawhi. Oh, bless your little heart. Uh, so yeah, so that was it for today, really. We created the, I mean, I say we, I mean I. God, this sketchbook's heavy. There we go. There's the final piece. Ta -da! Very happy with it. Nice, imaginative, easy beginners painting. Uh, as I said, it will be available as a class. Uh, you can find it, um, find out more information about it on my newsletter, artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter. I will be speaking about it all on here in upcoming streams very soon. Uh, do make sure you follow me on your favourite social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. I'm on Facebook and Instagram a lot and Twitter just to say about this stream. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Boo, I missed everything. You did, you missed everything. I'm totally finished completely on time today. I thought I might run over for some reason. Uh, not that it matters, because there isn't really a time limit on this stream. It's just kind of like, I just generally tend to do things for about an hour and a half. Um, so sad now, don't be sad, don't be sad. You can always just flick through the replay and leave me a comment. Don't cry. <laughs> don't cry for me, Argentina. Look, I've got one little sip of coffee left. Of tea, it's not coffee. One little sip left. So that was it for the autumnal beautiful paintings. Let's see what happens next week. Maybe I will still be on autumnal things. Who knows? I probably will be because I'm a bit obsessed. Um, I hope your work's going brilliantly. Thank you so much for joining. We had such a nice, chill time today. I really need it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, Halo. <laughs> uh, make sure you follow everybody in this um, stream if you don't already. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining. We had a lovely time, didn't we? Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to do on an upcoming stream, if you'd like me to paint anything in particular, if you'd like to learn anything in particular. Um, I would love to do that for you, so let me know. You can just send me a message in Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Leave me a comment underneath this video. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. All those things. You know what to do you know what to do love you thank you thank you i really enjoyed that did you enjoy the story i wanted to do that last time when no one else said anything about it so i will do that i'll read a couple of paragraphs i think it's really interesting learning about colors and where colors originated from and recent stories the good thing about this book actually is that um by the way i'm not affiliated with this book at all i just really love it um the good thing about this book is just got like historical things and contemporary things in it so it's like you get a bit of, you know, just interest about colour. Colour's so great. Do you not just love colour? I think everyone in this room watching this stream does. Looks really good. Welcome back, Alicia. You come back for the last few minutes. Yay. So have a lovely, lovely rest of your week. Yeah, really interesting story, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, have a really amazing rest of your week. Have a lovely weekend. I may be streaming live on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash artist resource on the weekend. So come and pop over there if you want to. Uh, but yeah, make sure you come back next week. Put your notifications on, set the reminders. You know how it goes. Thank you so much for joining. It was lovely to have you. Stay creative. Art is the answer art is the answer it really does lift you you lift all your spirits make you feel good calm you down let your mind free and just like be really chilled it always works every time if you take it nice and slow don't pressure yourself like i said leave your mind stuff out of it and you kind of have to teach yourself to do that and art is a great way to teach yourself to leave your mind on the shelf oh my god that rhymed someone write that down <laughs> 
virtual hug. Take care and stay safe. Lots of love, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye.